stuff that a uh, football coach goes through uh, on a day in, day out basis. But uh, whether it'll, it'll ever be exactly the same, uh, I don't, I don't think it'll ever be that way. But uh, like I said, I, I, I feel good, and uh, I feel like most of that uh, is behind, you know, is behind me, and uh, feel good where I'm at right now. Uh, very little media uh, obligations, they said. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> there won't be any more Wednesday uh, pressers and, and Monday. They said that's uh, Dr. Craig. You'll have to talk to him. But uh, no, there's re there's really uh, you know no restrictions uh, like every other uh, every, anybody else who's dealt with. Uh, some form of cancer, blood disease, leukemia, whatever it is, you know, you've got a, you know, you still got a process to go through, and uh, I've got a couple years still of uh, medication I'll take for uh, a couple weeks every three months, and then you go in for three years, you know, every six months for three years after that, and, you know, if you're still in remission after five years, and then we'll give you a certificate and a, and a badge and, and send you send you walking and say you're, you're healthy and you're, you know, you're, you're completely, you uh, uh, free of, uh, I guess, any more doctor's visits if you will. Well, you know, obviously very excited uh, to have Pep in the fold. Um, really bright, uh, young, rising uh, star, if you will. Um, obviously had a, has some familiarity with a few guys uh, on our team, as you know. Um, so, Pep is... Uh, what he's going to do, and he's already done that since he's been here, he's going to dive in with the rest of the coaching staff. Obviously, we had a little bit of turnover, but not much. But, uh, you know, he's taking a hard look at our personnel right now, uh, what we have in place, finding uh, areas uh, where we got to uh, address, uh, you know, in the offseason, free agency, uh, draft, whatever it is. And then, you know, kind of blend. Uh, it's probably a little bit premature to say, uh, you know, what we're going to look like uh, next fall. I really don't want to, you know, give that out. But, um, you know, he's, uh, he's a bright guy, you know, got some great ideas, you know, but at the end of the day, uh, like he'll tell you, uh, you know, football is pure to him uh, and, uh, you know, loves to run the ball, loves to take the shots down the field. Uh, but then again, uh, you know, we're not going to waste any plays, those type of things. So it's great to have it happen. And uh, once we uh, continue to move forward a little bit and we get through this combine, we'll have a little bit of be uh, better idea as far as, uh, you know, where we need to go as far as adding players. I mean, if you just look at it, uh, West Coast uh, style offense, you know, there's uh, obviously a higher completion rate. You know, I think Andrew completed probably over 70% of his passes, you know, while at Stanford, and, and that rate was high there uh, the last couple of years, uh, like it is with any West Coast offense. So. Um, I'm sure there'll be uh, things that we'll look at and things we'll look to implement as far as uh, the West Coast uh, concepts goes. A few more check downs underneath routes, uh, run after catch like you're talking about. So, yeah. As, as long as uh, 12 is uh, under center, you know, and we got the weapons around him, uh, yeah, we can count on that. You know, like everybody else saw, you know, we saw a, a very, very explosive athlete and uh, a guy who could make plays. And once he caught his stride and he got healthy, we saw exactly the same thing we saw in college tape, you know, we saw out here uh, on Sunday. So uh, our expectations are high for everybody. Um, he's got, uh, you know, he places high expectations on himself. But I think we just got uh, a, a taste of what he's capable of doing, you know, not only uh, receiving, uh, run after catch, and then uh, the return game also. You know what, in the evaluation process, you're going to look at everything. You're going to take, you know, bits and pieces from, from the combine, any uh, all-star games that they played in, uh, but mostly the uh, body of work is going to come from their, uh, their collegiate tape.
I would say uh, Derek Rogers, I would say Tennessee good. Tech wide he's receiver, got, table you know, two. He's got a great way. Derek uh, Rogers, table player. two. He, he always has. Um, there's a reason, you know, when I got this job, the first home call I made uh, was to Bruce because, you know, not only is he a uh, great football coach, he has a great football mind, and he's been successful everywhere he's been. He's, he's a better person and a better man. And uh, he cares about kids. And, and we talked from day one about building relationships. Not only amongst our coaching staff, but, uh, but with our players, and he'll do the same thing out there as well that he did here, and we were able to uh, sustain and get done what we wanted to uh, get done this season, accomplish what we accomplished, you know, because of uh, because of those skills that he has.